Hi, it's Debbie from Our Vagabond Travels coming to you from our travel trailer, which is actually parked in the driveway in Colorado, and it will be up until after the holidays, then we'll take off and um, go probably down to Arizona. So um, I want to thank Aaron with the collection Vintage and Carol with My Blessed Nest for organizing the collaboration to show all of our Christmas hauls. And with that, I'll jump right into the haul. So some of this um, I've had because I had a little vintage shop here in Littleton, Colorado for a while um, called the Crow's Nest. And um, we moved down to Mexico for a little while and um, we closed the shop. And so some of it, I actually just discovered a whole bin of my vintage Christmas. So I'm pretty excited to share it with you. So here is the first item, which is candlestick holders. So there we are. These are great, like, I guess maybe 60s. I don't know. They're pretty cool. 70s maybe. I'm not sure. Anyways, those are fun. And then I have these old Bradford Three Wiseman uh, plastic mold Three Kings. There's one. One of them is in green. So these are awesome. I love these guys. I have a thing for camels. I seem to find them all the time. I love camels. And then this I recently got. I don't know. That sure is kind of harsh. Sorry about the lighting. It's hard with being out in the travel trailer. So that's just fun to put something in, you know, air plant, whatever. A little nod to Misty for the air plant. And let's see. We got this cute little bell. This little shepherd's bell. I think it, I don't know what it says. Um, Jasco 1978 in the sticker on the inside. But it's really sweet. And I'm not normally one for little bells that sit on the table, but I liked her. Little shepherd girl. And then, oh yes, here's some more plastic goodness from the 60s. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. Look at him. Adorable. So it does have room for a candlestick in here. And then it's felted on the bottom. So, and the picks are removable. You can move them around. And what else do I have to show you? have this little guy right here. He's got this, I don't know how old he is. He's not that old. He's, he has a sticker here on the back, but uh, it says made in Korea, but he's got a great face and you can clip onto something. So there's that. And then I have these little pretties. They are so cute. These are like that, almost like paper mache. I'm not sure quite. It's a Lee Edwards exclusive of Japan is what it says on there. They're in good shape. And then I have these carolers. They're kind of like styrofoam-ish. They're little boots. And their little thing says Silent Night on there. They're music. So, I like those. That's the thing. I try not to buy anything that I don't love. Even if I know like it's a good deal to, to sell it. It's hard to get excited about something you don't really love. And if you don't really love it, I don't know that anybody else is going to either because they're not going to see your, any kind of excitement. Speaking of excitement, I love, love, love these. They're the elastic, elastic cords. So cute. These would be great in a display set up there with maybe something like this. Yes. 
The thermoses are just great to sit around, and this is a really nice size. Um, this is a Icy Hot by Thermos. Um, it's in pretty good shape. It does have a little bit of um, the sticker parts coming off, but uh, oh, I don't think it's really going to matter when you have it just sitting up. And then I have these, which are so cute. They're like made out of shell. And um, Merry Christmas from Hawaii, it says, and it says Meli Kalikimaka. Um, and it was from the Liberty House of Hawaii. And I am not sure when. Gosh, that's terrible. Sorry. There's like a little gnome or elf sitting there just sleeping under the palm tree. And then here's the other one. Oh, that's bad glare. Sorry about that. There we go. And then I found these in my stash, which are like kind of really popular right now. I've got this pretty red one and this green one. And then this one with the little angel in it. And here's the last one of these with the little angel in it. Gosh, I'm so sorry about the lighting. I'll get it right someday. Okay. And then I also got these. I love these. So they're little candles. And they're in these little star um, candle holders. And I've got six of the stars. And then I have the extra candles. Okay, I should have taken them out of the bag. Hold, please. So some of the candles have the chimney sweep guy on there. Really cute. There we go. I have three of those with the chimney sweeps. And then I have eight of the ones with the flowers on them. And they have a little band around the bottom. Super cute. And then I have this little plastic mouse and he is from Hong Kong, made in Hong Kong. That's just fun. And what else? Okay, I'm going to start with some of the other ornaments. This, these are shiny brights. And I have four of those with the poinsettias on them. And then I've got some of these Bradfords. I have two of the barrels. love those. And then I have one of the lantern. And I have three of these teardrops with, got, usually they all have like a flower or something in them. And I have red, blue, and gold. Then I have this. I guess they would call it, they call this one the Starburst plastic. Another Bradford. They did awesome uh, mid-century plastic ornaments. Then I have this one. This one's my favorite. This is the flying saucer. And let's see. Oh, <clears throat> so that was it for the ornaments. Oh, I do have one more. I lied. Okay, this one is a West Germany. It says West Germany on the plastic. So that one's fun. And then I found this. Ah. <laughs> 
this is glittery fun right here. It's already in its little vase, which I don't know. It's plastic, but this base is wood. But I got this at the Goodwill. That's $2.99. Thank you very much all day long. Look at the little jeweled birds. Oh. Okay, there's that. And then I have this really cool spool of ribbon vintage ribbon. I love it. It's, it just feels good. And there's a ton of it on here. So all of this is for sale. Um, if you see something you like, just message me. You can either email me, the email's in the description below, um, or you can um, find me on Instagram under R, the letter R, Vagabond Travels, one word. And one of the last things I have is a I've got six, oops, <laughs> six of the cookie cutters. Um, I've got the camel. The camel showed up. That one's hard to find. I don't see the camel very often. Um, and then there was an extra tree. And then the star. There's Santa. And the bell. And then I showed this in another haul, but since it was Christmas, I just wanted to kind of go ahead and add it. Um, I have a set of these, a set of four. They're from West Germany. And I don't know how to say the name of it. It's, yeah, I'm not even going to try to say it. If you, <laughs> if you know German, maybe you can pronounce that, although it is backwards for you. Sorry. Um, anyways, I have a set of four and also the creamer. It's adorable. They'd be great to put out for Santa, even if you just want to buy the one set, you know, um, a plate and a mug together. I've got some chalkware sheep. Just these little babies. I don't know if you can see him. There's the ram. Boy, this, I'm so sorry about the lighting. Okay. I have the beauty light on. I ordered it from Amazon. I don't know what that's really all about, but it's the beauty light. <laughs> and I think that's it. So thanks so much for watching my video and please like and subscribe. I am trying to build my channel. And uh, I want to thank the vintage community uh, resellers on um, Instagram and on YouTube. It's a great bunch of people that uh, promote each other. So, um, and I also want to thank um, Beth from Caroline, what is it? Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. So she's the one who told me about the, um, about the collaboration. So please check out her channel as well. Thanks for watching, and I'm sure there'll be no good vintage find left behind if I have anything to say about it. Thanks a lot. Bye.